Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. It says, The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow. I am preaching on the power of the blessing. It's our month of open doors of supernatural power where we shall experience God, experience his power like never before. The power of the blessing. One of the most powerful forces on the earth is the force of the blessing. It is heavier than the force or power of money. It is heavier than the force or power of human connection. God gave it to Adam at creation. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. And God blessed them. God gave it to Noah after the flood. In Genesis chapter 9 from verse 1. And God blessed Noah and his sons. And said unto them, be fruitful. Multiply and replenish the earth. What is it that makes the blessing so powerful? What power is inside the blessing? Number one. The blessing is behind the making of the blessed. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh. Is behind the making of the blessed. People that are not blessed cannot be guaranteed a making. Number two, the blessing fertilizes the mentality of the blessed. Blessed people have very high mental capacity. It fertilizes the mentality of the blessed. That was the reason why Joseph the blessed could have answer for Egypt. Genesis chapter 41 verse 39 all the way to verse 44. You can't carry the blessing and be a dummy. The Abrahamic generations are not dullards. I will look at this in detail in the second service. Blessed people are enwisened by the blessing. And a man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. And the boldness of his countenance is increased. Number three, the blessing accelerates the life and destiny of the blessed. The blessing is a supernatural accelerator. That was what Isaac had in Genesis chapter 26. From verse 13, and the man went forward. And grew. He was great and went forward. And grew until he became very great. 
Blessed people can never be victims of stagnation. Can never be stranded or stagnated. Can't. That is why whatever it takes, ensure you secure the blessing per time. That was number three. Number four, the blessing is a preservative for the life and the destiny of the blessed. It's a preservative. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 8 says as the new wine is found, as the new wine is found, found in the cluster and one said, destroy it not for a blessing is in it. It's a preservative. You cannot be blessed and be easily wasteable. Irrespective of how wicked that devil is. Blessed people are not easily perishable materials. Can die just like that. Is God speaking to anybody here? Number five. The blessing establishes the generation of the blessed. The generation of the blessed. Psalm 122, sorry, 112 verse 1 and 2. Praise ye the Lord, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright is blessed, shall be blessed. Blessed people are not permitted to give birth to useless children. You are not permitted to give birth to generational burdens. No. It's part of the package of the blessing. And we'll deal with that in the fifth service. Finally, the blessing is a guarantee of fulfillment for the blessed. A guarantee of fulfillment. It added no sorrow. It added no sorrow. It added no sorrow. Proverbs 10, 22. It make it rich and it added no sorrow. Everything I say to you this morning is a blessing Sunday. You, should, you will soon be receiving the declarations of the blessing. It's not just for the purpose of information. It is a revelation being fired into your spirit. So you can hold on to it and say, this is what it is. And I refuse anything that is contrary to this. Someone say amen. amen. Let us take no, point number one. The blessing of the Lord is behind the making of the blessed. Three things are of note there. All right, before I go to those three things, let me say it like this. Blessing makes people and blessing made people are superior to effort made people. There are people, it was a blessing of God who made them. There are people, their physical effort made them. Some charm, they trusted in charm to be made. Some trusted in their labor to be made. Some trusted in their education to be made. It's not wrong. To be made by education, to be made by labor, to be made by energy. But blessing made people who are actually God made people, they stand out where others stand down. Superior. Is God speaking to someone here? Three things we shall know. Number one, or A, 
the blessing processes and manufactures people from the realm of smallness to greatness, from the realm of emptiness to fullness. It processes people. That was what we saw. The blessing of the Lord. It make it. It make it. It processes people. From the realm of smallness to greatness. From the realm of emptiness to fullness. Abraham was called in Genesis chapter 12. Verse 1 to 3, God blessed him. He left almost empty handed. All that he had, it wasn't mentioned. The next verse in chapter 13, verse 2, he was already rich in silver, in cattle, in gold. Within a short space of time, he was processed from emptiness to fullness. By the blessing. Somebody gets it. Because this same blessing is about to process your life. Yeah. Say a louder amen. Yeah. The earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. God came with the blessing. And the earth became full. And he left the blessing with Adam. Continue to populate the earth. And everything we saw today was because God dropped the blessing, not money, not certificate, the blessing. <laughs> Am I speaking to anybody here? I want you to come to the point where you believe God. Believe God. Believe his word. Because there are many things around you that will try to cast question, aspersion on the reality of what we say, believe God. The blessing processes people. He manufactures people. If you are blessed, you are on a journey. If you are not yet there, you will get there. Just keep on moving. May I announce to somebody today, that journey ahead of you, you shall get there. Everyone that is a victim of emptiness so far, by the blessing with which I preach, that emptiness gives way now. Give the Lord a loud shout of amen. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. He processes people. Number B. The destiny and prosperity of blessing made people are independent of external circumstances. The destiny and prosperity of blessing made people are independent of external circumstances. If the blessing of God makes you, your destiny is not dependent on the climatic factors. Your life is not at the mercy of any economy. Hello? And Isaac sold in that land. And he, he ripped a hundredfold in the same year. Which same year? Chapter 1, chapter verse 1 tells us the year there was famine in the land. That same year of famine, Isaac sowed in the land. My communicating, we are blessed. This church is blessed. If you go towards the airport road, look right. You will see something that will confirm to you that this place is blessed. Am I communicating? In this same year, in this same season, under the 
this same climate, at a point, one or two of those who came to the authorities that come for approvals and so on at various levels of construction, one of them said, this is the most important construction going on in this whole territory now. That construction sites are empty. Is that true? Yes. Hundreds of people, thousands, millions being paid daily as labor, labor under a dark climate where you found it very hard for one block to be laid on another. Capital projects, almost zero. And a church with no foreign input, no dime from nowhere, no aid from no NGO, nothing, just God, the blessing of God, running under such a climate. You see, you tie your life to a system, you die with the system. Tie your life with a system, you die with that system. When men say they are cast down, you are not permitted to say you are cast down because you are connected to a system that cannot be cast down. Is God speaking to anybody here at all? Don't just tie your life. You know, no, the government has changed, so, so um, nothing is working anymore. The change, who is in government does not bother you. Whoever is in government per time, it's not your problem. And we are so happy at this, at this season because um, nobody can claim that any government in authority has any hand in anything. Nothing. No CC. Somebody say amen. amen. That is why I said to you, blessing made people are superior to effort made people. Ordinary people will be quaking and shaking because of economy. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, 9.23 Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man, worldly rich man, glory in his riches. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Let them not be not glory in all these things. The best place to the best thing to glory is in God and his blessing. So the destiny and prosperity of blessing made people are independent of external circumstances. And finally, the destiny and outcome of blessing made people the destiny and outcome of blessing made people does not lie in the hands of mortal man. The destiny and outcome of blessing made people does not lie in the hands of mortal man. When God has blessed you, he has rescued your life from being determined by man. When God has, has blessed you, he has delivered you from being regulated by a mere mortal man. Someone say loud amen. amen. Someone say loud amen. amen. It does not lie in the hands of mere mortal beings. When you are blessed of God, God becomes the sole determinant of your outcome. The brothers of Joseph thought they could determine his life's outcome. Let us hear come the dreamer. Let us sell him and let's see what will become of his dreams. Thinking that Joseph's life was in their hands, it failed. Potiphar sent Potiphar's wife sent Joseph to the prison. 
to see what will become of Joseph. It failed. The butler forgot Joseph. He forgot. So that no matter how hard you tried, he couldn't have remembered. Until God gave Pharaoh a dream that only Joseph could interpret. Then he forced the butler to remember Joseph. You see, Joseph, in fact, made a slight mistake by telling the butler, please, when you go to the palace, remember me. And God wanted to just show Joseph that looking up to man is signature for frustration. Signature for failure. Signature for frustration. Butler forgot him. And God did it so that the time will not come where the butler will say I was the one who recommended Joseph. God made sure nobody recommended Joseph. Pharaoh's dream recommended Joseph. I am here to announce to somebody any human being playing God in your life today that agenda expires. I decree, I declare, I announce today they will never be able to determine your life. They will never be able to determine your destiny. They will never be able to determine your future. Shout the loudest. Amen. Amen. Take your seat. Never look at any man as the determinant of your life. And never come to the point where you tell anybody you are my last hope. When you talk like that, the jealous God becomes jealous. You see, I leave you with the man who is your last hope. Let me see how both of you will fare. Never think that nobody in authority, no matter how powerful, can determine your destiny. Nobody. This ministry, myself, yourself, nobody is powerful enough to determine our destiny. Not one. They haven't born the individual. In the days where they, there was a lot of demolition going on, we heard news that um, they said they would demolish their building, not our own. <laughs> a newspaper already carried it. The rumor was so strong that it was carried in the newspaper. That so and so church, you know, Somebody, a concerned person, ran to me. He said, excuse me, sir. The news is everywhere. In fact, they say in their authorities, in their quarters, they have discussed, they say, this and that, that church mouth. I told him, sit down. I have two things for you. I told him, number one, nobody erected the church. Nobody can take it down. I said, Jesus said, I have the power to lay down and I have the power to take it up. I said, if it is time for it to come down, we will do it ourselves, not with anybody's assistance. And I told him, secondly, the person that can dare that they haven't born him. I called the name of the minister at that time. I said, a million of his type. I told him, I said, well, we are here before they came. We will be here after they have left. I say that with audacity all the time. Those who come to power and mess up, and, they are only there temporarily. Our excellency is a palm, is, we are an eternal excellency. The joy of many generations. We are always here before they come. And we will always be here after they have left. We determine their destiny. They can't determine our destiny. Somebody shout power. Somebody shout power. Somebody shout power. Look at somebody by your side. Say, say, tell the person, say, my destiny is not in the hands of a man. My destiny is in the hands of God. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> Somebody here today is blessed. Who is the person? Quickly, anything you do 
And I, when I say anything, I mean anything positive you need to do to attain the blessing, do it. And these are the things I will encourage you to do. Psalm 24, verse 4 to 5. It said, Psalm 24, Psalm 24, verse 4 to 5. He that has clean hands and a pure heart and has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord. And righteousness from the God of Jacob, verse 6, this is the generation of them that seek him. That seek thy face, O Jacob. What do you do to attract the blessing? Number one is the maintenance of the lifestyle of integrity. Integrity all around, but very, very critically financial integrity. Every iota of crookedness disconnects you from the blessing. Every iota. Eating money that is not yours legally. Cheating, duping, fraud, accounting fraud. That is why the robber can never be blessed. Whether it's an armed robber or a pen robber. Can never be blessed. You know, you, I, I, I heard a very funny story of how some robbers went to the bank and they robbed the bank. In the course of um, think the robbery, they said that uh, one of them didn't go to school at all. But that one is an expert. And the other one is a master's degree holder. Or something. Among the robber, yes. And the, and the one who who didn't go to school at all, taught them the sense. Say, how do we know how much we have stolen? He said, let us wait. We'll hear it over the news. <laughs> I don't want to mention the country where they say they stole is Asia. They stole $20 million from the bank, cash. Then they announced that a hundred million dollars was stolen from the bank. That is the bank officials and executives said it's a hundred million dollars. The thieves counted the money. Counted. They kept counting to be sure it was a hundred dollars. Only for them to realize that though they stole 20 million, other people stole 80 million without carrying gun. Yes. The other people, the other people added what they would steal and announced it as what the robbers stole. So they stole more than the robbers without endangering their lives. I don't know if you heard what I just said. So the robbers were disabled. They thought they would hear the correct announcement. They counted the money, counted, counted. Who stole the money from us now? We are thieves. Who thief from us now? They counted. And they, there's nowhere, nobody to go and report to. It's a thief. The thief cannot say they stole our money. Neither, neither can they go to the bank and say it is not true. That was how they were left with their faith. Thief, thief from thief. See, the reason why our country is so battered and scattered and shattered is because people that are financially clean are few. I heard somebody say some time ago that when you talk about leadership in our country, it's not a matter of whether one is corrupt or not, but who is less corrupt? Yes. 
people who step into power. If, you are, if the blessing of God is ever your desire, look away from anything that is not yours. Don't be looking on the road and wondering what money somebody lost money to pick. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? There are people like that. Anything that is not yours does not add anything to you. See, two people do business. Even they come to church, they duped each other. Police case. The maintenance of integrity, all around integrity, but above all, concerning the blessing, financial integrity. Number two is the pursuit of God. He said, this is the generation that seek you. The blessed generation is a, is a God-seeking generation. God-seeking generation. God-seeking. When you know, God knows, the devil knows that God is your passion. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. Seek ye first. A God-seeking generation. Nothing between you and God. Nothing you cannot give unto God. Number three is the lifestyle of giving and sacrifice. The most basic one is the tithe. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse. And prove me here with, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to, to receive it. The lifestyle of giving and sacrifice. It's not possible. See, as long as the earth remained, Genesis chapter 8, verse 22, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Then the next verse, and God blessed Noah. God blessed Noah. Why? Because Noah had offered sacrifices. He had given, and the blessing was pulled by the giving. The lifestyle given a sacrifice. There, are, there is no major consumer that can be blessed by God. Not one. Am I communicating? <laughs> Not one. The other day I asked God, I said, you know, if I have this amount in my hand, this amount, all of it is going into your work. Try it. No major consumer has any future in the blessing. Number four is existence as a blessing. I will bless you and you shall be a blessing. The number of life that, lives that are connected to you in terms of the blessing determines the extent to which you can be a blessing. There are people, not one human being on earth has ever benefited from their lives. I'll bless you and you shall be a blessing. And finally, connection and submission to blessed spiritual authority. Connection and submission to blessed spiritual authority. Hebrews 7.7 7, Without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. When you hide yourself and hide your head under the cover of a heavy blessing, it is not possible for you not to be blessed. How many of you know that small trees many times thrive under the shadow of big trees? Many times. Little rivers connect to big seas. They have a way in which they connect. When you see a, a river that is not linked, either from root or destination, it dries up with time. Without all contradiction, the less is blessed or the better. Your connection to spiritual father or mentor, a blessed father, 
who speaks into your life and speaks into your destiny. It goes a long way to putting the devil where he belongs. And that is the aim of the Blessing Sunday. But the blessing does not happen to you because somebody pronounced it. It happens because you believe the Lord your God and you are established. Then you believe in his prophets and then you prosper. It happens to you because you value the unction. It happens to you because you, 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 you cherish the mantle. It happens to you because you believe in the pronouncements and it shall happen. Somebody say amen. amen. Someone is blessed already. Amen. Who is that person? Who is that person so blessed that the environment cannot affect you? Stand up with a shout of praise. A louder shout of praise. Loud most shout of praise. Hallelujah. Has God spoken to anybody this morning? I see people already in overflow five. Is that right? Lift up your hands and let's appreciate the king of kings and the lord of lords. Worship him, honor him, adore him, magnify him. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Worship to your name.